Hello everyone, welcome to my channel, the Pixie Noxie channel. My name is Nokolo Mapapu and basically on my channel I'll be discussing everything Pixie, how you treat your Pixie, how you maintain the Pixie, how you style your Pixie and how you can get better results with curling your Pixie because having a Pixie most of the time means you have to curl it constantly and how to uh, minimize uh, product build up on your hair, how to uh, get rid of a lot of products that have been in your hair previously and start off on a quickie clean start or oh, squeaky clean, squeaky clean start and then as well how to make sure that your hair doesn't break in the process and basically we are trying to keep our pixie as best looking and as healthy as possible so today I'll be showing you a basic, basic, basic way of uh, styling your pixie, how I style my pixie, especially for work. Um, as you can see, I'm prepped and ready, just didn't do my hair. Um, it's just a simple way where I just use my straighteners. Um, I use two straighteners. I use a smaller straightener for the back of my hair. And then I use a larger straightener for the top of my hair because that's where my hair is actually higher or longer should I say so um, before we start I'm gonna ask you to please uh, press the subscribe button comment down below and like this video if you find it really really interesting and it has helped you out in maintaining your face. okay so let's not waste any more of your time and so let's get started with curling our hair So last night I actually had the opportunity to mousse up my hair and wrap it. That's why it's looking so flat. It's actually very easy for me to curl now, now that it's moussed out. And I've washed it as well. Washed, moussed, put on some hair food for some moisture for my scalp. And then now I'm just combing it out and sectioning a line. It's just like opening like a line there. So I like it to be a bit curvy, I don't want it to be straight. So now I'm just going to section that out and then open it nicely. So as I'm curling my hair now, I haven't started, I just wanted you guys to know that it's very important to know the temperature of your, your irons that you are using. Right, just be careful with the irons, don't use heat that is too hot don't use a, a temperature that is very high for your hair it will burn trust me you will burn and you will go bald and no one wants to do that and then now I'm just sectioning out a piece of hair right that I'm gonna start curling because when you curl you can't just curl a chunk of hair you have to section it out it has to be neat Remember, it has to be neat so that's why I keep on curling and brushing hair down because I want to see exactly what I'm curling and what I'm doing. You know, I'm using different combs to make sure that I, I get it nice and perfect because it is the first uh, piece of hair that I'll be curling on my hair this time around. And um, also be careful with uh, the, the combs you use, right? You don't want to use a comb that will stress your hair or make your hair fall out. So white tooth combs, I always say this white tooth combs are always the best. So now the hair is being sectioned. I'm using my smaller uh, straightener and then I'm just going to curl inwards. I always start, or most of the time I say mostly, I start curling from the tip of my hair where the hair starts growing out because if I start curling from the the front of my hair or from my hairline it becomes difficult for me to see where I'm curling like in future so it's it's best to actually start at the the top of your head or I know I started one of my corners 
uh, sometimes I do start right in the middle of my head just to make sure that I move uh, forward with the top of my hair and then I move down, part downwards with the back of my head. It's always easier for me. You won't always be able to see the back of your hair. You just have to move with it, you know, get used to how your head is shaped um, keep your hair neat as possible while curling so that it becomes easy for you to section out the piece of hair that you want to curl. So, yeah, basically this is how I do it. It's not an easy process, honestly. It does take a while, but it needs a bit of patience as you are using, like, a hot iron and your hair is relaxed and it's processed, so you don't want to rush it by using... High temperature, please don't use high temperature. Always, always use medium temperature, especially for relaxed hair, because as I said before, it is processed. So you don't want to put too much stress on the hair. So this is what I'm going to do for the rest of my hair. I'm going to continue like this and, well, just watch how I do it. It won't look great after I've done curling. I do comb it out afterwards, but this is just the way I've learned how to curl my hair. So I hope this also works for you as you're watching.
so right now i'm about to move in with the bigger straightener the larger straightener it's pink i love it when it's color coordinated <laughs> um with this particular straightener i use it on the top of my hair or the front section of my hair because it my the hair on that side is is longer so it needs something larger to actually be able to to curl it throughout right and it is hot it, it is a very hot straightener so i don't like using it over and over my hair so i try to curl the hair the sectioned hair once instead of going over it um because i'm trying to avoid burns on on my hair so it's it is set on medium like the smaller straightener but the medium and smaller straightener is more for my hair than the medium straightener on the medium temperature on this uh, larger straightener so avoid going over your hair with uh, a straightener and always take note of the temperature that the straightener is on and i use this one even though it's hot i use it because it it honestly does uh produce better curls in terms of uh, smoothness and it also produces produces larger curls like for the front of my hair i like to have my curls a bit small at the back and then a bit, a bit higher on top so if they're smaller at the back i know even if i can sleep it won't show that much that you know what my, my curls have been crushed so i use this particular one to achieve better looking curls and larger curls it the system works for me um if you feel like using one straightener works for you then you you're not forced to actually follow my way but this is how i like using it i at this point i only use this too i remember back in 2016 i also used uh, a curler like a proper thong that's what we used to call it i used to use a, a thong and i always used to burn my my forehead but yeah i, I guess i get a got better at it as time went by so i just used the two straighteners they work perfectly fine for me I've just roughly curled my hair as you can see um, it still looks like a hot mess but trust me it's gonna look good in a second so this is what I do normally and then I grab a white tooth comb I grab this one as well this one a tooth comb a finer tooth comb and then I... this one right so at the back I only just use this one here and then let me let me turn around and then I just go down with my finer tooth comb right
okay so now I'll be doing the top of my hair so what you want to do now is okay I'm not sure what this comb is called I found it it clicks so I liked it I bought it um, you're basically going to tease you're going to use it to tease your hair on top you don't want to comb it completely because you're going to flatten your curls unless you know what you do so with me I just tease it until it looks good in my eyes see right there I'm still going to put my uh, split ends into place but just keep on combing it nicely or teasing it nicely into place so that it looks a bit like waves and it doesn't look like cylindrical hair on your head you want it to look as best as you can and you want it to have shape you don't just want it to be round because obviously it is it is not your your hair is not completely the same size so take advantage of that if ever you have a pixie like mine and then okay now I just want to look if everything is in place and then I'm going to push down whatever that I don't feel like should be poking out, right? So I'm happy with how it looks. So we're going to continue. Okay, we're patting now. Okay, so I use my finer tooth comb to actually comb out hair that is sticking out because that's one problem that you might experience with curling your hair. Some hair that shouldn't be sticking out will stick out and you want to put that in place. Try to use as many combs as you have because your hair won't respond the same to different combs. Try brushing the sides of your hair to actually achieve that slick, smooth uh, look. Whereby on the sides it's flat and then, you know, the other side it's poofy or, you know, it's somewhat different or higher if you may. Now I'm going to spray my hair with this holding spray from Soft and Free. It's, okay, I call it a spritz. Right, it's a spritz spray. And I spray it on my curls. And this alone actually helps my hair to stay firm. The curls to stay firm. And wind doesn't actually blow out my hair for like a week. Um, because I've based out my scalp, this will actually, it won't cause any flakes on my scalp and my hair will stay shiny. Well, I'll also add a little bit of uh, ocean onto my hair um, to make sure that everything is tight, but at the same time, it looks very shiny. So these are the finishing touches that I do to my hair to actually make sure that it's exactly how I want it to look. And this is how I do my pixie, you know? I like how it looks okay so basically this is it this is how I basically style my hair this is how I learned how to start styling my hair just randomly curl 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 and then comb it into the direction that you want it to go um, there's nothing much that I actually do to the hair once I've, I've curled it right and combed it out just spray in my, my freezing spray and then your oil shinches for the shine and then when you when I sleep <laughs> when I sleep I sleep on my sides the, those just don't get ruined for some reason it just gets better and better until the day that I see some flakes and then I decide to wash it off um, if you found this really helpful to you and your hair please do give this video a thumbs up subscribe and then please press that bell for some notifications for my next videos that I'm going to post to help you and I maintain a healthy pixie. And do comment down below. Um, I'm open to any questions that you may have regarding pixies, um, any suggestions. Um, and basically just tell me how you feel about the video. So thank you very much guys. That's it from me. And bye-bye.